In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use AirDrop to transfer documents, videos, and files between iPhones and iPads. But before I show you how to do that, I wanna say if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming by to watch this video. My name is V, and I teach people how to make content with their phone and how to be YouTubers on their phone. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now to show you how to do this, I'm gonna use an iPhone 7 and an iPhone 10s. So let me flip this camera upside down and show you how to use AirDrop. The first thing you'll want to do is access your control panel. On the iPhone 7, you swipe up from the bottom, and on the iPhone XS, you swipe down from the top right corner. Once you see the control panel, long press where you see the Wi-Fi, airplane, Bluetooth, and data icons. That's going to open up a new area, and on the bottom left, you're going to see AirDrop. You want to tap on AirDrop, and then you can choose between receiving off, contacts only, or everyone. For this tutorial, I'm gonna choose everyone. Then you wanna follow the same steps for the receiving phone. Once you've activated AirDrop on both devices, you can go into your gallery, choose an image that you wanna send or images or a video or a document, tap on that image, and down on the bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna see a share option. You wanna tap on that, and you're gonna see an option for AirDrop. If you're close to any iOS devices that have AirDrop activated, you're going to see their devices show up in this area. Choose the device you wanna send the file to, and it's going to immediately send it over to that device. Now that the file's successfully been transferred, I simply tap on done on the top left corner, and that's it. As you can see, that was incredibly easy to send a file from one device to another. You can send it from an iPhone to an iPad, from an iPad to an iPad, however you wanna send those back and forth, this is how you do it. And if you wanna send files from your iPhone or iPad to your computer, I have a video coming in the future that shows you how to do that, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. I'd also like to know what other types of videos you would like me to make for your iPhone or iPad, so be sure to go down and leave a comment below. I read every single comment and I reply to as many as possible, and when this video's over, I'm gonna go down there and read your suggestions. If you wanna learn more about your iPhone or iPad or you're a mobile content creator, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.